Even when you have the best intentions, there are occasions where injections may be performed in an unsafe manner. For example, when you are rushed or are distracted by others during the administration and preparation of the procedure. Injection procedures should be safe procedures and require your full attention. GenMed? Oh no, I didn't know about that. I'll check on it and let you know. Okay. Hey, Susan. Hmm? Did you give Miss Matthews her stat reglin? Uh, I sure did. I gave it to her before she went to CT. Hmm. Really? CT just called to say that she is nauseous and vomiting everywhere. Oh. Um, I'll double check. If you suspect medications or fluids were not prepared in a safe manner, then do not administer them. Additionally, it's easy to accidentally contaminate equipment or your clean hands when you're distracted by another task. The anesthesiologist is so focused on the spinal needle that he doesn't realize his gloved hand is being contaminated as it reaches across the table. Once the vial of medication is touched, it is now also contaminated. Accidental contaminations occur. The best way to prevent unintended errors is to aim for best practice safe injections all the time. To ensure safe injections, follow these simple and effective principles. Store and prepare medications and supplies in a clean area on a clean surface. Always perform hand hygiene before handling medication vials, IV solutions, and injection equipment. Maintain aseptic technique during the preparation and administration of the injection. Never leave a spike, needle, or cannula inserted into the membrane of a vial due to risks of contamination. Always disinfect the excess diaphragm of vials or IV ports with approved disinfectants before use. Finally, adhere to the principle of one vial, one needle, one syringe for one patient. This principle aptly summarizes the best practice that will always protect the safety of the patient. Always dedicate equipment to one patient and never reuse or share injecting equipment to save cost or to save time. Clearly label the syringes and vials with the name of the solution and the patient. Avoid multiple dose vials in all circumstances. For instance, do not obtain flush fluid from a large container of solution. If multi-dose vials must be used, it should only be used for one patient and then discarded. Each entry into the multi-dose vial must be performed with a new sterile needle and syringe. Furthermore, never administer a pre-filled syringe to multiple patients, even if the needle or cannula is changed between patients. Familiarize yourself with up-to-date guidelines on safe injections. Consult the DICON website or recommendations from professional organizations such as APEC, Association of Professionals in Infection Control. The safety of our patients rests with you, and it starts with the most basic and most common of all procedures, the safety of injections. <laughs>